Hey, hello everybody. Um, <coughs> in this video, we're going to do a couple things. Uh, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to deploy Firefox using group policy. The second thing we're going to do, we're going to map a network driver group policy. And the third thing is going to, uh, we're going to change the background of a client computer. Okay, so I already downloaded the um, Firefox package from the internet and I re already place it in a in a in a folder in the C drive. It's right here. We and um and I shared it with read and write permission of the network. Okay, after you do that, uh we're going to go to start administrative tools and we're going to open the group policy management snap in. So I already have one. I'm going to delete it so we can do the whole process again, okay? We want to delete that, and now we're going to right-click in Group Policy Objects, and we're gonna, we're gonna click New, and then we're gonna name it over here. I'm gonna pull. It, I'm gonna name it Deploy. Deploy Firefox. Click OK, and now uh, we're going to right-click on the Deploy Firefox uh, GPO. We're gonna edit it, edit it. And now uh, here is real important, okay? Because um, I want to I want to deploy the package to a user, not to a specific computer. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to span uh, user configuration, uh, policies, software settings, and we're gonna right click on the software software installation. And the software installation, we're gonna we're gonna click we're gonna click new package and here is really important you know because you have to even though you automatically look for it uh, make sure you you specify the path because um, if you just select it if you browse to it uh, the path is gonna be like C drive uh, call it's gonna be um, C color backslash deploy and then it's not gonna be uh, backslash back, uh, backslash backslash uh, domain one deploy so since we're gonna do it over the network you have to specify you have to put the uh, naming convention here okay instead of the C drive and uh, column backslash okay so we're gonna click open we're gonna select the uh, the Firefox package click open and then here we're gonna uh, we're gonna select advance click OK And uh, we need to wait a few seconds. Okay, so now what we need to do is we're gonna go to the deployment tab, and then you can either publish it or assign it. The difference between these two is like if you publish it, uh, the the user can decide whether he wants to install it or not. And then if you assign it, you actually force that uh, uh, specific package to be installed in the uh, in the user's computer. Okay, so we're gonna click assign in this case. And then I want I want the, the package to be installed at the next logon. So I'm gonna select install this application at logon, and then we're gonna click OK. All right, so we're pretty much uh, done here. We're gonna close this window and then. We're gonna click again in deploy Firefox, and over here I'm gonna I'm gonna remove authentic authenticated users, and I'm gonna add a specific user that I want to deploy that that Fire uh, Firefox package to. So in this case, it's gonna be Jose Cruz. We're gonna check the name. Uh, click OK. As you can see, I already have uh, the user here. What I want to deploy. Um, the Firefox package. So uh, the last thing uh, we need to do is we're gonna right click on the uh, domain, in this case it's cr.local, and we're gonna link an existing GPO. So we're gonna select the one which is configured, uh, deploy Firefox, we click OK, and uh, that's it, you know, on the server level we're done. Now what we need to do is we're gonna Log in uh, on the client computer and test it and make, uh, make sure it works. So 
I'm gonna change to my client PC and I already logged in so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna uh, log off so this 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 specific machine is already joined to the um, to the domain okay so I'm gonna log in with uh, J Cruz with is Jose Cruz I'm gonna type the password If you can see, uh, it's actually taking a little longer to uh, to log to log in because it's installing the uh, the software package at this moment. So once we log in, you will see the Firefox icon on the screen. Cool, it actually worked. So if you see here, we have the Firefox package already installed. Uh, the user didn't have to do anything. That's be that's because we. Uh, we assign it, you know, we didn't publish it. Okay, so um, we're done with deploying, you know, Firefox. So now what we need to do is we're gonna go back to the server. Okay, so we're back into the server and now we're going to uh, map a network, a network drive. Okay, so same thing, we're gonna go to administrative tools, we're gonna go to group policy management gonna right click on the group policy objects we're gonna select new and then let's name it map drive so now we're gonna right click on the map drive GPO we're gonna edit and um, I want to ma I want to I want to uh, map the drive to a user so we're gonna go to user configuration preferences Windows settings, and um, we're gonna click what it said map drive maps. We're gonna right click on it, new mapped drive, and then here let's uh, we're gonna we have to specify the location slash map drive, and then we have to uh, give it a letter. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna choose the letter S. Why not? I'm gonna click OK, and that's it over here. You know, um, now we have to go to the client machine and test it. Oh no, actually, I'm wrong. We <laughs> we have to click the map drive, uh, and then we have to. Uh, we're gonna add a user that I want to um, deploy the. Uh, I mean, what I want to map the drive to. So it's gonna be Jose Cruz. Check. We're gonna check the name. I click OK. And now let's right click on the cr.local and we're going to link an existing GPO. And then we're going to select the map drive, the one which is configured. And then we're going to click OK. So now we're done. OK. So um, I'm going to close this and then I'm going to switch to my client PC. And if you can see uh, right here, we don't have anything right now. So we're going to run the GP update. Uh, for slice force, you know, because we don't we don't want to wait ninety minutes, so we're just gonna force it. We're gonna log back in. Now we're back in the client machine, and let's check uh, if it worked. So we're gonna go to computer and eight. And then since um since I gave it, you know, write and read and write permission, let's see if we, we can create anything. If we can uh we can delete and then let's let's see uh we're gonna type something here and see if the uh, the permission would apply. Yep, so everything worked great. So now um, we're gonna go back to the server. Okay, so we're back here in the server, and um, now the last the last thing we need to do we got, we're going to do is we're going to uh, change the back the background of a client computer using group policy. Uh, this is good, you know, when you have a lot of users and then 
you wanna you wanna standardize the background. You know, you just deploy the picture you want to uh, to want you, you want to have in the um, in the background of the desktop. So this is a good way to do it because you don't want you know to have different kind of pictures, funny pictures on your desktop. So so what we're gonna do is we're going again. We need to go to the group policy management snapping. We're going to right click uh, uh, group policy objects. We're going to create new one, and we're going to name it wallpaper. I'm going to click OK, and now we're going to edit the wallpaper GPO. Uh, we actually I'm going to name it because I, I spelled wrong wallpaper. Okay, so we're going to edit it. We're going to go to uh, gonna go to uh, user configuration policies administrative templates desktop and we're gonna click desktop and now we're going to uh, double click what it said desktop wallpaper and we're going to enable it make sure you read this here because it tells you if you enable what is gonna happen if you disable it what is gonna happen and if it is not configured it also tells you what is going to happen so in my case, I'm going to enable it, and then the path here is really important. Make sure you type it right, okay? So the extension is going to be JPG. That's really important because if we don't put the name of the uh, of the picture, it will not work. UNC, Universal Name Convention. So we're going to click OK. We're gonna, uh, if you see here, it said wallpaper desktop wallpaper is enabled so no comments we're gonna exit here now we're gonna click the wallpaper we're gonna add the user uh, let's delete this right here the authenticated user let's delete it move. yes and then we're gonna add the specific user where uh, where we're going to change the uh, desktop wallpaper so it's gonna be the same user Cruise. I like playing with this user don't I so okay now we're going to link this GPO to the uh, CR.local. So we're going to right click on it. We're going to um, link an existing GPO. And then we're going to choose the wall, wallpaper GPO. We're going to click OK. And uh, we're done here. We're going to close it. And then we're going to go back to the client machine. Here, the screen here is actually dark right now. I don't have anything. Uh, we're going to run, run the GP update. We're gonna force it. And the w the reason why we force it is because the uh, the GPO, you know, uh, by default it takes like 90 minutes for the uh, policy to be applied. You know, and I don't have time, so I don't want to wait 90 minutes. That's why I run GP update and force it. So and it's asking us to log off. So we're gonna log off. And then we're going to log back in. So as you see, we already have the we already have here the uh, picture. So it actually work. So what we accomplished here, we um, the first thing we did was uh, deploy Firefox with your policy. Uh, the second thing we did, uh, we mapped a network drive with the letter S and changed the background this time. You see. Okay, so this is. Uh, everything for the presentation and uh, thank you guys